Welcome to the Faster, Easier, Better show. This podcast is short, fun, and jam-packed with good ideas that you can start using right away. Welcome to another episode. I'm your co-host, Ellen, along with my co-host. This seems vaguely familiar. Have we done this before? Because I swear I'm about to say... I'm Lee, and then we go into what the topic is. Is, Am am I right? You are very right, because Uh, we consistently start the show the same way. And it's something comforting about that. Well, Like a wet blanket that was on a dog. (laughs) I don't know that that's comforting. All right, that's maybe a little harsh. So, but consistency. Consistency is the, the magic that we can use to be more efficient and productive and achieve goals and be faster, easier, better. Consistency. Yeah, I think that some of the most successful people that I've studied have a kind of a morning ritual or routine. And that stays true, you know, no matter when they're on the road or whatever, they like they're because they can, they can afford to hire people to bring them their bike with them or wherever. But they right. you know, they have this thing that they do that they they know what's coming next. They they use their creativity and their energy and their you know, their wonderfulness on things other than what should I eat for breakfast? What should I wear today? Right. What do I need to do first? It's already decided, which frees up your brain for all kinds of bigger Things to do. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, having consistency, yeah, at first it sounds like, oh, that sounds so boring, but consistency uh, will set you free. I don't know. That sounds, <laughs> that sounds wrong, but it does, you know, to answer what you're saying, it, it does free up your brain for other things. And yet you're still working towards whatever you want. If I have the consistent habit of, Doing 10 squats as soon as I get up in the morning, you know, 10 squats is going to add up over the course of, you know, a month. Hey, I've done 300 squats. That's, you know, all of that adds up. So consistency is great. And then once you've done that without even thinking about it, you can go on to think big thoughts like Lee. Well, I'm going to quote a famous person, Stephon Curry, the you know, the best three-point shooter in basketball history, even if you're not a basketball fan, I mean, he, he takes the long shots, the hard yeah. shots, and he makes it look so easy. And his quote is, success is not an accident. And what I think he means by that is he made that shot a million times. He consistently made it in practice, you know, in over the years in games. And it just, for him... It just is. Like everything, it's called muscle memory. Like everything just, mm-hmm. you've done it so many times. So for certain things that we want to be great at, not just good, but great at, consistency is the key. We need to be doing it more than anyone else because that's, and the right way. I mean, you could learn to do it some of the wrong way over and over again, and that becomes your, your normal. But doing it the right way and a little bit better each time, man, that kind of consistency over time has a huge impact on how well you'll do something, especially if you focus that on something that's really important or very lucrative or just the thing that you're, you, know, you really want to be known for. Wow, you, you leapfrog over the people that are all over the place. Oh, absolutely. Or the people that, you know, I, oh, I'll do it when I'm mm. motivated. Well, you're not going to get motivated. You know, doing, going back to, if I'm doing 10 squats a day, that's like way better than, oh, you know what? On the weekend, I'm going to work out and I'll get in three sets or five sets. But if you're doing it consistently, you're so much further ahead than anyone else. Because consistency, you don't think about. You're just doing it. Yeah. And when you're consistently doing the right thing or doing things that may not seem right away that it's paying off. But those things tend to accumulate, and over time, all of a sudden, it's like, oh, you're just the person we're looking for. You know, we, we've been looking all over for you because you, you stand out. You really do. When you're known as the best at something, peop, you don't have to go out and try and sell yourself or sell an idea or sell and it, They come to you because yeah. you're the best. And how do you get to be the best? Consistently practicing, consistently improving. Because how many people have we seen that have gotten to a certain level and stop? 
Well, I'm already yeah. here. I'm at the top of the mountain. There is no top of the mountain. No, it's a continual not. climb. Sorry, I hate to say it, but those people that continue to try and get higher and higher and better and better, those are the type of people that seem to be the ones that have all the cool stuff, money. Well, I mean, let's made. go back to your your own life. You know, you've recently lost weight, and that is the result of consistent effort. You know, it wasn't like you, hey, I'm eating a salad today and then tomorrow um, I'm just going to, I'm going to, this pizza, this hamburger, oh, a mm-hmm. chocolate shake. No, consistently doing the right thing. Yeah. And now it's a habit, meaning yeah. I don't even think I chop up a salad, even though the best kind of salad is just a pizza. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> How do you make a good salad? Put some pizza in it. Um, but uh, you're right. Thank you for that. And I do think that, you know, over time, it's just gotten easier and easier because I'm used to it and I don't even think about it. Like, well, I'm just going to have a salad. Consistency. Again, every single day. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I, don't, I like salads now. Go figure. Yeah. yeah. But consistency is the way we win at whatever it is. We're trying to win it. And even if it's just winning at your week, you know, being consistent with your efforts. So consistently listen to our show, learn from us, and be back with us again next week for another episode.